Hello my loves, it's Kasha Plannerista 101. Today we are going to be planning in my catch-all planner which is Beauty in Florals plus success happy planner for the week of February 7th through the 13th. I pulled out some very very neutral books. So I pulled out the <clears throat> excuse me, Bold and Blush, the new Wild Styled and Minimalist. I wanted to go with something neutral since the following week is Valentine's Day and I already have an idea of what I'm doing and it's going to be a full blown out spread. So I'm going with neutrals this time. If you are joining me for the first time, welcome. I really hope you like it here. If you are coming back to watch me, welcome back. Thank you so much for choosing to spend time with me. And <clears throat> excuse me, let's get into the spread. So I am pulling stickers out of the Bold and Blush sticker book. It's a truly lovely sticker book and it's my first time using it. And I just noticed that the boxes are not correlating with the boxes of the Happy Planner. How weird is that? I don't know if everybody's is like that, but they're a little bit um, wider and a lot shorter than the box. So I'm just um, adding some neutral boxes. The black and peach one says be in love with life. Um, the other one says choose happy. I'm pulling my um, Signa Uniball white gel pen to remove some of the lines when I put boxes down and stuff like that. Okay, so I have this horizontal box that says important that I wanted to use. And then I'm going to add one more to Saturday and Sunday. And when I have boxes like this where they spread on across multiple days, that means I can do them more than just that one day. So they're kind of uh, to do's for the week, I guess. Okay, and I'm going to add a strip of washi. I love what these say. So this one says, surround yourself with things you love. Discard the rest. And then the other one says, I am in charge of the way I feel. And today I choose happiness. And one is in very pale and one is in the orange tone like peach, dark peach. So these are truly lovely and I love using little washi strips from the books in my spreads. Okay, let's go ahead and grab, I'm gonna grab another book because I think the modern year would fit this really, really well. It has the same brownish and light tones. I know it has some grays in there too, but I really like um, the subdued colors in that book as well. So I'm going to go ahead and add that, which says um, here and now. It's going to be a very like happy and be present spread, I guess. That's what I'm feeling. Okay, so I am just flipping through the book and picking some stickers. I really like this these clear ones so I'm gonna um, take the work ones which they actually alternate and they say work relax so I'm gonna go ahead and grab these work stickers and then place them Monday through Friday when I have my regular full-time job I'm going to kind of place them all around and see how it goes. Okay, 
Oh, I love the way this looks. If you don't have the sticker book and you want the same type of uh, look, you can just have a very faint neutral highlighter and do that same thing. Just write it out and then wait for it to dry and highlight. And then live today. So again, a very present quote. Design a life you love and again, we're gonna remove all of these harsh lines to make that sticker as one as possible <clears throat> A tip for that is don't press your stickers down unless um, you're very sure of the position because this way you can lift them up a little and add pen where you need it. I'm gonna add this so good. And I'm gonna add a box for myself for things that I need to get done. Perfect. Same thing here, I will overlap them and this way it will have like this layering effect which I love. If you guys know me, you already know that. And I'm going to add these headers to today's plan and I'm going to reverse the colors. Okay, another quote that's going in here, it's enjoy where you are now. It's so lovely. I'm going to go ahead and slap it on. And then remove that little piece of lines up there. It's slowly coming together. There's still a lot that I want to do. So stay with me. I am working this spread pretty hard. <clears throat> and then another checklist that says today, and I'm gonna go ahead and layer it this way. Like I said, I love that cluster type of look. So I am going to do something similar on the other side, not necessarily the same but very similar so i'm going to go ahead and layer it where it links those two boxes together like so I'm going to grab a few of these to-dos in various colors and I'm going to start kind of playing with them and adding them. So I'm going to add a to-do list right there, um, add another one, let's see, maybe, maybe on a Sunday to add that black color to the top. Mm. Maybe I can add this midday like this because my work schedule just needs one line to write the date. The time, I mean. I'm sorry. And then I'm going to add another one here. Nope. That doesn't balance. I'm going to move this up and layer it with that box 
like that and then that unfortunately doesn't work so I'm gonna just um, leave it be it, it was almost like a close on trial <clears throat> and it didn't fit so that's okay I, I can always put it back in the book okay the next thing is bullet points so I'm gonna be adding bullet points to these um, I am definitely a list maker so for me bullet points are my best friends and checklists are my best friends so when you see my planner it's always super functional even though it has a ton of decoration in it it has to be functional otherwise I can't I can't function so adding various bullet points making sure that they don't match in color that's done on purpose this way it just looks much neater and coordinated and I'm gonna add another sparkle box like with polka dots um, because I have some polka dots on the other side so I just need to balance it even though these are huge it doesn't really matter aesthetically it's there okay so I added two to-do lists to Sunday two little bullet points And then I'm going to add two more quotes that are clear and I think I should be done. So I'm going to put the life happens right on Sunday and Saturday like that to fill in that space. And then on a Tuesday, I'm going to add another quote, love this day. And then underneath says a new day. So they kind of go together and I am done with this spread, I think, or maybe I could add one more thing like live boldly right there and that's all i hope you guys enjoyed the spread i know it's not my typical flowers and it's a little bit different but i hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up i appreciate all of your comments and i will see you very soon for another video have a great day bye